All right, Coach Stutzman, you guys won one match against Kent State. Soria come from behind. Uh, other matches, I thought you could have won 165. I thought Wally was in a position to win. Uh, couldn't quite get off the mat, lost a couple scrambles. Uh, it's been a, you know, it's going to be a tough transition for you guys, but how has the process gone for you guys, for Buffalo thus far, you've been in your first year? Uh, you know what, the process has been great. You know, we got a, we got an unbelievable recruiting class coming in, so I'm happy about that. And these are my guys out there, man. I'm happy with these guys. These guys are fighting real hard, and if you can't see the difference between this year and last year and years past, then, then, then people haven't been paying attention. We're wrestling hard. These guys are scrapping. They're trying. Um, you know, we're going to get it. You know, I, I just, I laugh right now a little bit because I know how competitive I am. I know our guys want to win and uh, um, we're going to get it. And, uh, you know, and people can doubt me now, doubt the program now, but uh, at the end of the day, I can't wait until we're in a position to uh, win championships. Flannery at 141. Uh, I thought maybe he got a bad call with that first takedown. I think he just got a takedown. That was only right. point two. Only one of the first video reviews I've seen in a duel, actually. Yeah. Uh, and you guys got, you lost that one. And then uh, he's winning the match, dominating uh, small. I thought uh, he's he, he's winning, you know. And I'm not gonna say dominating because I thought I thought he controlled the pace. He's dictating pace. He's riding hard. I think that's been Nick's uh, forte a little bit at Cleveland State, and now here a little bit. He uh, he has brain laps. You know, he he has he'll lapse and, and give up uh, reversals to back points, and instead of giving up one, that's all he had to do. And he gives up the one. I think we win that match. I think uh, we win 65. I thought we were in a position to win at 84. I thought we could have won at 97. That's five matches, you know, so the efforts there, man, I'm proud of these guys. These guys are working real hard, and i got to be real positive with them. Being an ultra-competitive guy, do you find yourself sometimes in your mind saying, man, I can't be negative about that, I can't be negative about that? Do you find yourself doing that a lot? Every day. Every day, because I know they're trying. So, you know, my, my, my heart goes out to these guys that are fighting real hard and trying, and I want them to win bad. Coach Osborne wants them to win. Coach Osborne wants them to win. It's a process, and I need to understand that, and, and we are understanding that, but at the end of the day, University of Buffalo is going to be in a position to win championships, and, and I can't wait till that day comes, and it's going to be sooner than later. I did not see Rill out there on the Metfree. He transferred. He came yeah. from Bloom with you. Actually, he committed to Bloom yes. and never went to Bloom. No, no, he went to Bloom. He went to Bloom for a year. Yeah. He came with you. He trained. He's a Maryland kid. Yeah. Uh, are we going to see him in your lineup at all this year? Absolutely. I'm in a process right now pulling everybody down to the right weight class. Wally Maziar's for me is a 57 pounder. Uh, Tyler Rose is a 65 pounder. Rock Nadoke is going up to 74. Um, John Northrup's going down to 49. And I think that's a big transition. We got to get these guys get to the right weight classes. And hopefully, the second semester when we get them there, we're going to see better results. Your conference is lights out, man. You got two top ten teams in your conference. Uh, I mean, and you got you know Manus or Mizzou. They got two of the top freshmen I've seen in a while. Uh, Jaden Cox, I think, could win a national title. He's really good. He did lose last night to Ohio University's yep. Wellington. But when you look at the conference, Northern Iowa, I, I, saw, I think they're ranked sixth yeah. in the Power Tournament point ranking. Central Michigan always. When you look at this conference, Kent State, obviously, OU, Ohio U. I mean, it is a nails yeah. conference. What do you guys got to do to be competitive in this? conference you know by next year and you know by the MAC tournament this year uh, well one we got to train hard and we got to believe in ourselves and we got to recruit the right kids and I think we're doing that I remember when coach Schwab got the uh, Northern Iowa job a couple years ago when I was at Bloomsburg and you know uh, we, we came out on top on a, on a hard tough battle you know three four five years later this guy's ranked six in the country because he did it right and uh, we're going to do it right we're going to take our time and build it right and get the right kids and 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 I'm expecting that's where we're going to be you know, but this conference, the MAC conference, is unbelievable. Don't forget about Eastern Michigan and Northern Illinois. Those guys are having great years and, and Old Dominion. I mean, this, this conference is, is the premier conference in the country. We're excited to be a part of it, and, and we're going to get it done. Doing things right, you know, speaking of it, you did things right at Bloomsburg. And now I think that, and this is just my opinion, but I think the fruits of your labor are being shown under Jason Master <laughs> right now, and that's good for Master, but it's kind of bad for you because now you're here with Buffalo Rebuilding. You look at Bloomsburg and the success they're having. I mean, Bustler, Knoxoff, right. Maple, and I'm looking at some of the other. Valtteri's having a great year. Uh, Richard Perry's having a great year. I look up and down that lineup. You know, Grant could have a great year. They just, they have a phenomenal team. Is that hard for you, and do you pay attention to what, you know, Bloomsburg's doing? Because right. you build it. Well, we, I, had, I had a lot of great assistants to help me build it, um, but I'm not... Uh, I'm happy for those guys. You know, Mike McFarland, the athletic director there, is unbelievable. Um, I think Jason Messer is doing a great job. He's going to continue building Bloomsburg's program. Um, I'm happy for those guys. I keep tabs on those guys. I love those guys, especially the Rich Perrys and the Mike Decinos and Bryce Busters. Those guys have been unbelievable to me and my family. But at the end of the day, I chose to come here to the University of Buffalo because, once again, I believe that the University of Buffalo can win national championships, and we're going to put ourselves in position to compete at a high level. Coach, you got anything else for me? 
You know, I, the score, I don't think the score indicates of our effort, and we're, we're, going to, we're getting better. You know, it's a process, and I believe in it. The coaching staff believes in it. The administration believes in it. We're going to get it done. All right, Coach, thanks for the time. Thank you.